Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I thought I would cover the topic of transportation around Walt Disney World property. Now, it's kind of a general video. When you book your trip through me, it is something I can get a little more specific to because it really will be resort specific. But generally speaking, I think it's really nice to know how to get from point A to point B. So I'm doing this video. So the value resort, um, all right, they come in two different groups, really. You have the three all-star resorts, all-star sports, all-star music, all-star movies. Those guys are gonna be a bus everywhere. Simple, bus to all four theme parks and a bus to Disney Springs. Now, the other two value resorts, Pop Century and Art of Animation, are gonna be a little bit different. They have the new gondola skyline Skyliner Station. So in between the two resorts is a Skyliner Station. You'll be able to hop on there and take the gondola over to Caribbean Beach Resort. From Caribbean Beach, you can transfer to either Epcot or Hollywood Studios. This is going to be a very nice way to travel. Now, something to note, when you're taking the gondola, no matter where, it's going to uh, to Epcot, it'll drop you off at the uh, back side of Epcot, which is going to be so nice for security. It'll be a shorter wait than the front, but something to note is you will not be able to get onto the monorail from here. This is um, just a way to get to Epcot and some of the Epcot resorts. You will not be able to hop on the monorail from here. From Pop Century and Art of Animation, if you want to get to Animal Kingdom or the Magic Kingdom or Disney Springs, you'll be hopping on a bus. Now, if you need to get to another resort for, say, a dining reservation, so say you are staying at Pop Century and you need to get to Chef Mickey for that Contemporary, you will take a bus to the Magic Kingdom and then walk over to the Contemporary. Now, if you're staying at Pop Century and you have dining reservations at Cape May Cafe, which is located at the Beach Club, then you will take the gondola over to Epcot and then you'll be able to walk to the Beach Club Resort and enjoy your meal at Cape May Cafe. Now, this will vary depending on the resort you're staying at and the resort you're going to, but safe bet is to take the uh, transportation that is offered at your resort to the Magic Kingdom and then go from there. Those are the value resort, generally speaking. Next up, moderate resorts. We'll start with Coronado Springs because at Coronado, it's a bus everywhere. Doesn't matter what theme park or Disney Springs, you're gonna hop on the bus. Now at Caribbean Beach, you have the head gondola station. This is like the big one. So you will be able to, from there, take the gondola, there's gonna be two gondola stations. One will go to Epcot and one will go to Hollywood Studios. The other theme parks, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, will be a bus. Disney Spring, also a bus. Now the last two moderate resorts are the Port Orleans French Quarter and Port Orleans Riverside. If you're staying at one of those resorts, it will be a bus to all four theme parks. Now, if you wanna to get to Disney Springs, the nice thing about these resorts is you will be able to take a boat to Disney Springs. The last moderate, which kind of falls in a funky spot in between, is Fort Wilderness, the campground, as well as the cabins that are there as well. That is going to be a bus to all the theme parks, except for the Magic Kingdom. You'll be able to take a nice relaxing boat ride to the Magic Kingdom. Now, the deluxe resorts are kind of their separate game, because they really don't fall under their general speaking, like, Generally, at the values, it's a bus. Um, they are depending on where they are. So let's start with the Magic Kingdom resorts. The Magic Kingdom resorts are the Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, the Contemporary, and, and the Wilderness Lodge. Now, from those Magic Kingdom resorts, it's kind of a different scenario for all of them. Like at the Contemporary and Bay Lake Tower, you will walk to the Magic Kingdom. From the Polynesian, the easiest way to get to the Magic Kingdom would be a boat ride. From the Grand Floridian, you are a direct line on the monorail, one stop 
that's getting there. Going home is a little different. Contemporary, you're gonna walk the whole time. It's super easy and so close. The Polynesian, you could do the monorail or the boat. The boat is going to stop at the Grand Floridian first, which is why I generally recommend the Grand Floridian on the way home from the Magic Kingdom. Because if you ride the monorail, it goes Magic Kingdom, Contemporary, Ticket and Transportation Center, Polynesian, then the Grand Floridian, it's like a big loop. So something to keep in mind. From those resorts, if you want to get somewhere else like Epcot, you will take the monorail over to the Ticket and Transportation Center. From the Ticket and Transportation Center, you will get off that monorail and then get on another line to Epcot. Now, Wilderness Lodge, which is still considered a Magic Kingdom resort, will be a boat ride to Magic Kingdom. One of my favorite ways, because it's really nice and relaxing. And they will offer a bus to all of the other theme parks and Disney Springs. Then you have the Epcot Resorts. These guys are kind of my favorite. So it is the Boardwalk, the Beach, and the Yacht Club. And then the Swan and Dolphin are kind of, they fit within here. They are not necessarily Disney Resorts, but same goes for these guys when it comes to transportation. From any of the Epcot resorts, you're gonna walk to Epcot because it is so close. They do offer a boat if you choose to just take the boat. Um, you can also walk to Hollywood Studios. I personally love the walk, but some people, it's a little bit longer, so you can take the boat from any of these resorts. Beach Club, Yacht Club, Boardwalk, Swan and Duffel will offer a boat ride to Hollywood Studios. So that's how to get to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Um, the other theme parks, you will be taking a bus. Animal Kingdom Lodge is a bus everywhere. Animal Kingdom Theme Park, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. Getting on a bus. Same with Disney Springs. The last two deluxe resorts are also Disney Vacation Club resorts are Old Key West and Saratoga Springs. You will have a bus to all of the theme parks. And what I love about these guys is they offer a boat to Disney Springs. Saratoga Springs is actually close enough you can walk there, which is so nice. I love, I love to be able to walk places, it's so easy. Now a side note is to any of these guys, if you need to get somewhere fast or you're running late for your uh, dining reservation, Uber, Lyft, or minivan. Minivan service is something that is run through the Lyft app and it's not necessarily a minivan, but it is, could be a Chevy Traverse or a minivan, and it is red, I'll put a picture, with white polka dots, like Minnie Mouse. So it's a little pricier than a regular Uber or Lyft, but the benefit of this is that it is a Disney cast member driving you around, so they will be able to drop you off at the same location as all the other Disney transportations. So if you take an Uber or a Lyft to say the Magic Kingdom, they're gonna drop you off at the Ticket and Transportation Center where you're gonna need to take a boat or the monorail or a bus to the Magic Kingdom, where the minivan will be able to drop you off where the Disney buses drop you off, and then you'll be able to walk right in, so it's so nice. The last resort is the new Riviera Resort, which is also going to be a Disney Vacation Club Resort. They are gonna have a gondola station as well. They kind of share the gondola station with Caribbean Beach, so they will be able to take a gondola over to Epcot or Hollywood Studios and then a bus to all the other theme parks as well. One of the huge benefits of staying on property is not having to worry about transportation. The Disney transportation does work like regular public transportation, so you may have to wait a little bit, but if you look in your app you from your resort, you could tell roughly when the next bus is coming, which is nice. And like I said, if you're in a hurry, just call an Uber or a Lyft. Now, if you have to get from resort to resort, especially if you're at the Magic Kingdom Resort and you need to get to an Epcot Resort or the Animal Kingdom to go to Boma, so good. You're gonna wanna give yourself plenty of time, unless you're taking one of those, um, rideshare vehicles because you are going to have to leave your resort, get to a theme park in the front gate of the theme park, and then take the bus to that resort. So just give yourself plenty of time if you need to get from resort to resort for any dining reservation. Disney recommends an hour and a half. Now, I don't think you always need an hour and a half. I think it depends on where you're coming from, but just something to keep in mind. Um, do you guys have a favorite mode of transportation? Let me know in the comments below. I do love my boat rides. 
uh, let me know what you guys like. Thanks so much for joining and I'll see you next time.